Hello Cancer, welcome to your bonus love reading, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. This is Mary from Mary's Tarot Corner. Let's see what messages will show up for you today. Cancer, this is a collective love message for your sign. So please take it how it resonates and what resonates for your overall situation. Okay, let's see. Okay, so Cancer, we are connecting here in this reading for you with someone who might have created conflict between the two of you, uh, tension with this energy, maybe there was an argument. But this is also someone who is very conflicted. But they created this tension. When I look at your energy, we have energy of hope. I feel that at the end of the day, you try to stay positive and you are full of hope that this connection can be healed and uh, both of you can find a positive resolution to this whole situation. But it's like this person provoked some sort of conflict or tension. They were the, the reason why uh, this kind of energy appeared in this, in, in, in this relationship or in, regarding the situation mutual energy we have offer gift date commitment mm. so it feels quite strongly here that uh, indeed something here will be healed because as a mutual energy i feel that you would like this person to come with an offer of, of an apology uh, we have a gift so it feels that you might receive a gift from this person. This person will ask you if they, if both of you can meet up in order to discuss the situation. But in general, I'm getting very strongly here, Cancer, that both of you want, want commitment. I don't know if it was misunderstanding. I'm not getting that sort of energy. I'm seeing them at some point losing their patience. Oh, it's like, I don't know why losing the, their patience. Maybe maybe that's what they said to you, Cancer. But I feel that this is someone here who uh, kind of, um, who might have very quick temper and they've criticized you, you know. And it, and it feels like this person doesn't have a problem criticizing others. But when it comes to them, and for instance, if you criticize them, well, it's a completely different story. I feel this person, it's quite defensive, you know. And they said something here and it pushed you away. But you still have a hope that things can work out between the two of you. And it feels that they will. Overall energy, we have universe. Trust in the universe. So it feels like universe has your back. And divine timing here, it's very, very much present regarding this whole situation. Divine timing is this very interesting energy because it is some sort of form of reassurance, excuse me, that something here will manifest, but in a certain, in a right moment, but in order for you to get the most from that situation. So it feels that this reconciliation or like kind of, you know, energy of making peace within the situation it's coming nevertheless please uh, remember that universe has your back okay so let's see let's see show me this person's feelings and energy towards cancer towards cancer and this connection please okay eight of swords oh they're missing you five of pentacles and we have king of wands two of cups and queen of swords okay six of swords at the bottom of the deck so for some of you, there might be an 
no contact situation because of that tension that might be present in this connection at the moment. You know, we have this eight of cups with the with the with the eight of swords. You might be seeing repeated numbers. We have nineteen eighty eight. 1985 as a year, 1982, 1986, and also month of August, beginning of August, something might have happened during the month of August in the past regarding the situation, something of significance. Yeah, you see, you have this Knight of Wands to the Nine of Cups. I feel you dealing here with a charmer. Cancer, especially with this King of Wands here as well. This person is a charmer. They know exactly what to say, but they brought certain amount of um, uh, inconsistency to the situation because Knight of Wands, it's very in and out, hot and cold. But in general, this person feels like, you know, they are maybe a dream come true. I feel this person really made you feel very, very nice. That's what I am getting. They were very nice, very attentive. They made you feel that uh, you are the person that they've been looking for with this nine of cups, like you are dream come true. And something here happened. And I feel with this knight of wands, indeed this person reacted in that particular way because I'm getting an individual who speaks before they think and then they regret. And in a, I feel that in a heat of a moment, this person said something and they kind of withdraw their energy with the eight of cups. They've kind of tried to distance themselves emotionally. Maybe it is like a kind of silent treatment situation from their side. Eight of swords. And then we have, this is someone who's very stubborn. They are convinced that they are right, but five of wands suggests here that they are missing you. They are missing you, Cancer. They are missing your energy. This person understands that there is no one else who can understand them as you can. Two of cups with the queen of swords. <laughs> As additional message this person wants relationship with you they want to make amends this person has feelings for you and they are full of hope that you'll be open for some sort of kind of communication with the Queen of Swords six of swords as an overall energy in this case this person here wants to bring more stability and tranquility to the situation but again for some of you, there might be a physical distance between the two of you. We have the Six of Swords and the Eight of Cups. Cancer. But this is Six of Swords, it's like this person at some... It's like they made a decision to kind of withdraw their energy. And they thought that the time when they were doing it was that that was the right thing to do. But this person has regrets. But with the Eight of Swords, it's very difficult for this person to admit this. That's why they are stuck in their mindset, because this is a mindset. Nevertheless, with the Two of Cups and Queen of Swords, this person has feelings for you. They want to be with you. They want to share this cup of love with you. That's for sure with the Two of Cups. This is a card of love relationships. It's like they want to have an honest conversation with you. And this King of Wands, it's very charming energy. Someone who knows exactly what to say. But they feel here that because you are not chasing this person, their charm is kind of irrelevant when we look at the whole situation. They regret what they said or what they did. 
They regret that they created this conflict or tension between the two of you. Could you please show me Cancer's energy and feelings towards this person and this connection? Yeah, you are not chasing this person at all. The Hanged Man, Knight of Cups, the High Priestess. You might be dealing with Pisces. Six of Pentacles, okay. We have the Empress. We have the moon. Gosh, very strong Pisces. We also have Taurus, Gemini, Virgo, King of Cups. And then we have three pages. Look. Page of Swords, Page of Cups and Page of Pentacles as an additional message. Very interesting. Six of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. The hangman here suggests that, you know, you are not in the mood to chase this person, that there is no action taken when it comes to you. You are not, I, I feel that just like, I'm not going to be the one who's going to reach out. No, not, 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 not this time. Also with the hangman, I feel that you see certain things from a different perspective. However, with the, with the, Knight of Cups, I feel that you really want this person to come with an offer of an apology and apol and give you an apology, ask for your forgiveness, say simply sorry. You want them to admit that they made a mistake, the way they handle certain situation. But with the High Priestess, I feel you also want to kind of get to the bottom of something because you might be feeling that this person with the High Priestess and the Moon they haven't been fully transparent here about something. It feels like they are holding a secret and they brought doubt to this whole situation. For some of you, this is about strong feminine energy that you are just unsure about this whole situation. What is the role? Or you might feel that there is someone else involved in that situation or you might be suspecting it's a feeling. But you are very intuitive, Cancer, in general, Cancerians are very, very, very intuitive. So um, for some of you, you just want to know the truth about a certain feminine energy, very strongly here emphasized. You know, we have the High Priestess with the Empress and the Moon. That particular combination of cards, most of the time, uh, symbolize an older lady. Who might hold a very strong significant, uh, who might st sorry, who might who might hold very strong influence over this situation, or who might be very influential regarding this person's love life. But it doesn't have to be the case. However, I feel with the with the high priestess and the moon that there is something here that you might feel that this person hasn't been transparent. They were doing everything for you to not find out about this. And you just want transparency. With the king of cups, I feel that you have feelings for them. They do have feelings for you as well. I can tell you that, Cancer. But it you are showing up in this beautiful Empress energy as a divine feminine. You might be divine feminine or you are dealing with divine feminine, but I'm getting that it's your energy. And I feel that you are focusing on yourself at the moment. Uh, maybe you are focusing about certain things that you didn't have time in the past. And it's like, I feel that you are minding your own business. And Let's not forget the, the, the Empress. It's a very high vibrational kind of energy. This is divine feminine. So your vibration here is very, very high. It's like you are, uh, you're above this whole situation. However, it doesn't change the fact that you might really want it, this person to kind of admit something, apologize, and to explain certain things for you to gain more a kind of uh, understanding and clarity about the situation. 
nevertheless i feel that with this king of cups you do have feelings for them very interesting energy here page of swords page of cups page of pentacles what i am getting and i'm going to be honest with you cancer is that you might be suspecting that at the end of the day this is someone here who doesn't have much to offer they giving you you know they or they haven't been like this for some time like a little bit of of uh, attention a little bit of love a little bit of affection a little bit of time um, you know it's like this person was acting in a certain way but only when it was convenient for them you know also you might be dealing here with someone who has that children might be involved in that situation with this page's energy but i'm getting very strongly here cancer that you are in a position of advantage you know and you are very intuitive you see things differently i feel that you want them to come forward and apologize you you would welcome this apology but also this person needs to be transparent about something here because you might be suspecting that uh, they haven't been for a long time six of pentacles yeah i feel that you just want peace in a sense to find a positive resolution to the situation you want equal give take but you might be suspecting that for some time this person was breadcrumbing you i feel that you are full of hope that they they are able to explain themselves and that they care in order to to kind of bring more positivity to the situation show me the outcome king of pentacles okay page of cups page of swords and the six of pentacles show me the outcome nine of swords ten of pentacles at the bottom of the deck so this person with the king of pentacles they are coming with an offer so you can expect that they somehow will present um something here to you i feel this person wants to make amends at the end of the day because they they have feelings for you they want to uh, be in your life you know and this king of pentacles hold this pentacle energy which is essentially an offer that we've been talking about so they are coming with that energy mutual energy we have a page of swords page of cups and six of pentacles um I feel that you know equally if you have social media you might be kind of checking each other's social media if there is no contact situation but it, this page of swords it's energy of curiosity i feel that in general both of you are thinking a lot about each other that's the bottom line you know this person is very curious about what's going on in your life because they want to be present in your life that's what it is with the page of cups um, this person it's going to reach out and it feels like you will receive a very nice message they will try to come come across as they have good and pure intentions and with the six of pentacles they will be giving you a lot of attention i can tell you that here cancer but as a mutual energy it feels like both of you want the same thing but it's very important to maintain this equal give take so to what i mean by this is to to be aware of that dynamics uh, it it feels like it is because that six of pentacles is very difficult for me now to explain it um it's it's about the power dynamics so for instance it, it might be advisable to important to put the same amount of effort as this person is putting because then there will be none of this kind of feeling of 
of I've tried very hard, I was doing so much, I was so supportive and this person has just been taking all this support and n not giving me much back, you know, that sort of kind of energy. But it feels with the Six of Pentacles that it, it is able to be, uh, that the situation, it, there is this possibility for both of you to resolve the situation in, in, a, in a quite positive way. Page of Pentacles with the Page of Swords, also the, sorry, Page of Cups with the Page of Swords suggests that there is a big potential, okay? That there is a potential uh, that both of you can find this common ground regarding this whole situation. Nine of Swords. And also your energy here that you are coming in and final card for this outcome. Um, I feel it is very crucial for you to gain certain clarity and understanding about something that might be playing on your mind, which is very much kind of uh, shown by this Nine of Swords. For some of you, it might be uh, stressing out here if this situation will be resolved to your satisfaction. I can tell you that it will be because overall energy we have a ten of pentacles and this is a very positive energy ten of pentacles brings stability and understanding and also it feels that both of you want to be in a serious relationship at the end of the day it's like you have that main goal that it's um, both of you want the same thing it's just this person is coming into some, some sort of realization and that higher level of commitment represented by the Ten of Pentacles will manifest in the right time for this connection because I feel that a lot, a lot is going on here. However, with the Nine of Swords, you have nothing to worry about and I feel this is your energy at the moment because that positive resolution will be will be achieved they will come with an offer here cancer like a solid offer it feels this person also will want it to kind of prove it to you that they means business with this king of pentacles baby steps you have nothing to worry about and if you've been feeling anxious with this nine of swords uh, this feeling will disappear but I feel it's very crucial for you to gain a certain clarity about certain thing because it's very well them coming with, a, with an apology and saying sorry to you but there is more to this situation I feel that you want more you want to particularly know something here about a certain subject or situation and it's very important for you, I feel, for you and for this whole situation to get those answers. Because otherwise you might feel like, yes, they, they've apologized or they kind of made this effort to make amends, but still there will be something here that will, might be bothering you in the future if this person will not give you answers about this thing that you might have doubts about or you're still wondering about, you know, or this, the, or that this thing is seriously playing on your mind. Nevertheless, you have a very nice outcome here with the Ten of Pentacles and it feels that this conflict or this tension that might have occurred in this connection can be resolved and it feels that it will be resolved because um, this person is coming with an offer and at the end of the day with the two of cups, they want to be with you. So stay positive, Cancer. Things, it feels very strongly that things will be just okay. Cancer, I will leave it here. Thank you so, so very much for being with me. Please like, share and subscribe. And once again, thank you very much for your time. I truly, truly appreciate you. Cancer, have a fantastic and absolutely gorgeous day. And once again, thank you very much for being with me. I'm sending you much, much love. Till next time, take care. Bye.